Yeah, that's right. Today is all about getting a warming station set up like this one here at the rec center. Now some major highways run through Garvin County, and if any of those get shut down, drivers are going to need a place to stay. If you shut down the traffic on I-35, we're talking about hundreds of people really quickly. Yeah, it it can be a really big deal. Winter storm preparations are underway in Garvin County. As experts predict up to eight inches of heavy wet snow south of the metro. We're right in the middle of the sweet spot. But January's warm weather is lending a helpful hand. We're very fortunate in that the ground temperature is very warm, about 42 degrees, so we're not expecting any dangerous ice or anything like that, just some slushy conditions tomorrow evening. County officials spent the day alerting the local warming stations to be ready. They'll stay open, you know, 24 seven if they need to. I really appreciate that. Several major state and U.S. highways run through Garvin County, including I-35. Officials say half a foot of snow could spell trouble. Try to be proactive in setting up warming stations so that if the hotels fill up or if people that are not prepared to be able to rent a hotel, they can come in, get warm, have a cup of coffee, you know, have restrooms available and that stuff. Road crews in the county are on standby. They'll be out bright and early, clearing the morning commute. All three yards have been getting ready for it, uh, staffing, getting their equipment ready to salt the roads and to plow the bridges and things like that. Now here at the rec center and nearby churches will be those major warming stations and they're not expecting any slick spots tomorrow morning, but officials tell me that Wednesday will be a different story.